Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's day one sneak peeks of Honeybee Stamps Vintage Love Release, which comes out on January 31st. For my card, I'll be using both of the new paper pads, Vintage Love and Textiles and Texture Vintage. I have two of the new stamp sets, Postmarked and Mailbox Memos. I'll also be using the new Lovely Layers Posted set and also the Lovely Layers Peony die set, which is not part of the new release. I selected two pattern papers. These are both from the Vintage Love Paper Pad and I cut them out using the Lovely Layers Posted die set. I'll adhere the two die cut pieces together. I put ATG tape on the back, but I'm also adding some Barely Art glue along the edge to make sure it lays nice and flat. Now I'll put ATG tape on the back and also the glue again just around that outside edge and layer this piece on some dark brown cardstock. And you'll only see a tiny bit of the brown cardstock through the postage edge. Then I'll put my card front onto a card base. This is an American Standard A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add this fun border on the left side of the card. The die is from the Lovely Layers Posted set and I cut it out using the same dark brown cardstock. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in place. And it fits perfectly on an A2 size card. Now I'll start working on the beautiful peony. I selected three different shades of light pink cardstock and I'm adding a little extra color. The ink is Distress Oxide Aged Mahogany. I'm only adding the ink on the very edge of the petals and then focusing on the areas where there's etched detail since that's the only place you'll see once the flower is all assembled. I only inked up my brush for the darker pink pieces. After that, I'm trying to use the leftover ink. That way it's not too dark on the light pink colors. I have just two more pieces to add the ink. For the final piece, I'll also add a little ink at the very bottom. Since the pattern paper has a very vintage look, I decided to also add just a tiny bit of brown ink on the edge of the flower petals. I'm using scrapbook.com's dark chocolate ink color. It's a very light amount of brown ink I'm adding, but I think it does give the flower that vintage look. Honeybee Stamps never disappoints with their beautiful, lovely layer die sets. The flowers are definitely some of my favorites. With springtime just around the corner, I'll be pulling out the lovely layer tulip set very soon. Now I can start assembling the beautiful peony flower. Now I know the lovely layer sets can look a little intimidating, but they are very easy to line up. You'll start with the bottom layer, then you'll add the next piece, and as you add layer after layer, all of those areas that don't have the etched detail will be covered up. So your final finished flower is going to have this beautiful etched detail on every single petal. And if some of the pieces don't make sense, you can also go to Honeybee Stamps website where you can download the layering guide. So there is the peony all assembled. The set also includes dies for a bud, but my card will just have the larger bloom. I cut out two of the leaf pieces using pattern paper from the Vintage Love Collection. I'll adhere those down first, put one on the left side more toward the top and the other at the bottom of the card more in the center. I did tear off two of the leaves and I'll reposition them underneath the flower. Now I'll put glue on the back of the flower and adhere it in the lower left hand corner. Since I didn't put glue at the edge of all of the petals, I am able to curl them up for that extra look of dimension. Now I'll set aside my card. I'm using some pattern paper from the Textiles and Texture Vintage Paper Pad and also an image stamp from the Postmarked Stamp Set. Sweet little bird sitting on a branch. I'll stamp the bird on the pattern paper using scrapbook.com's dark chocolate ink color. 
Then I cut it out using one of the dies from the Lovely Layers Posted set. Using the same pattern paper, I also cut out the postage square. I'll add a little bit of the brown ink to the edge of each of the die cut pieces, then glue them together. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere my little bird stamp in the upper right hand corner. It's fun having the postage stamp dies and you could add a variety of different images. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, a happy hello. This is one of my favorite sentiments. It works for any card theme. The sentiment is from the mailbox memo stamp set and I also have the coordinating honey cut dies. I stamped the sentiment on some pattern paper from the textiles and texture vintage paper pad. I'll add a little extra ink along the edge for that vintage look. Then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it above the flower on the right side. For embellishments, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Vintage Pearl Stickers, selected a light tan color. I'll put two in the lower left hand corner and three around the sentiment. The pearls do have adhesive on the back, but I like to add a tiny drop of glue just to make sure they stay in place. So there is my finished card and I love how this turned out. Honeybee Stamps new Vintage Love release will be available on January 31st after their release party on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.